And did there ever come a time when you were involved in a shootout in Texas? Yes. All right. Tell the jury about that. Some guys came in on our side of the apartment complex and started shooting in there. And I started shooting back at them. All right. And who were you with when this shooting happened? People off 3rd and Galvez. All right. Do you remember who specifically? Yeah. Who? Me, Snoog, and QP. Okay. Was Rico Jackson there? Yes. Okay. But are you talking about an apartment complex or are you talking about at the Studio Plus? At the Studio Plus. All right. Yeah, see, I'm talking about the apartment complex, so yeah. All right, now. At the Studio Plus, describe who was involved in that shooting and what happened there. I just came from New Orleans the day before and went to the hotel room, which the little guy Kelly had. His girlfriend, Lovely, headed off to St. Bernard. So me, Rico, and... Me, Rico, and my brother, and Snoog was posted up in the room pretty much when we came there. All right. And you said guys, or a guy from the St. Bernard. Did you know people from the St. Bernard neighborhood or projects? Yes. How did you know them? Because both of my brothers was from the St. Bernard. And what happened that day at the Studio Plus? When it got dark, like around 7 or 8, well, everybody was chilling, waiting for Steve to come because he hit a lick in Atlanta. All right. And who is Steve? SK out the Bernard, out of the St. Bernard. Okay. Do you know his last name? Stephen Kennedy. So Stephen had robbed somebody in Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, and you all were waiting on him to come back? Yeah, to break us off, you know, split up the weed with us and some of the money and stuff. Okay, not everybody, but like me per se, because he been knowing me and Chris McCann. He didn't really know Black and them or none of them like that. So you all were waiting on Stephen Kennedy. What happens next? We in the room. We chilling in the room. Then somebody chirped the phone and said they about to kill our homie. Okay, do you know who called you? I can't specifically say. I know it came through Freaky's phone. Okay, and when you all got that message, what did you all do? Freaky took out of the hotel room first. All right, and what did you do? I had to get out of the bed and put my shoes on and pick up the gun. All right, and what happened when you got to the fire exit? Somebody bust through the door. All right. And what did you do when this person busted? I started shooting. Okay. Did you later realize who you were shooting at? Yeah. Who was it? A female. Okay. And did you know this female? Yeah, I knew this female. What was her name? All right. What happened to... I grazed her. Okay. Do you remember previously being asked if you hit her when you shot and you said no? Yes. Okay. Why did you say no when they asked if you hit her? Because a hit and a graze are two different things. A graze is just like pop shooting somebody. Pop shooting, you ain't specifically really hit your target. Okay. After you grazed, what did you do? I run down the back stairs. All right. What did you see when you got downstairs? I saw Black and his girlfriend laying in a towel. Okay, and what happened next? I ran and looked around the parking lot and was looking from left to right. And then I saw somebody laying on the ground. And I ran over there to see who that was and realized that was Steve. Okay, that was Steve Kennedy? Yeah. Who you had been waiting on? Yeah. All right. Did you see who shot Steve? No, I didn't see who shot Steve. There was a lot of shots going on during the time I ran out the room. That's why I started shooting at, you know. Okay. What happened after that? I'm hearing police sirens and stuff and Black telling everybody to put their guns in the truck. Okay. And what happened to the truck? Nothing. Lynn took off in the truck and locked the truck and I think she pulled off in the truck. Did the police come interview you? Yes, but after they caught us, 
because all of us crossed the street and went in Fiesta parking lot to dish the drugs and everything we had on us like, all right, what's the Fiesta? Fiesta like a Schwagman or a Winn-Dixie, but a Texas style grocery store. Okay, the police eventually detained you? Yes. All right, did they bring you back to the hotel? Yes. At some point, did you see? Not until they had us sit in the car like an hour or two hours. And I was complaining because everybody from the St. Bernard was pointing at us saying Daryl's brother killed Steve, you know, blaming us for killing Steve, you know. So I kept complaining about our body being exposed to the freeway. Like if somebody pull up and shoot us, they can go jump right on the bridge. So I didn't see until like probably an hour after sitting in the car. Okay, and what happened with that? They took me out to the car. They had a big bright light on me, but I knew who it was by the, you know, her lower waist. I couldn't really see her face, but I'm seeing, you know, she holding something on her head and looking. And they asking her, they taking all of us out the car one by one and asking her, did he shoot you? Was he the one you saw with the gun? And she told them no. How did you react when she said no? It was a sigh of relief. All right because you knew you had just grazed her? Yeah, I had just grazed her. Did you all go to jail that night? Yes, they just took us in downtown for questioning and put us in a little purple looking room, like a purple lighting room, and realized all of us had gunpowder on us. So they wanted to detain all of us because they said all of them got gunpowder all in their hair, their face, and all over their body, so everybody was shooting. So they had us all spooking like they was gonna keep us. I mean, did you know that your guys hadn't killed Steve Kennedy? Not really. Okay. Did you all have any reason to kill Steve Kennedy? No, I didn't have no reason to kill Steve Kennedy. Because you know, how we get to link up with Steve and him. Somebody come around Galvez and said they had some money on somebody from the St. Bernard. Once I ear hustled that, I went in the St. Bernard and told him. So you and Steve are cool? Yeah, we was cool. All right. How long did you end up being detained after that? Just until the morning. And then they let you all go the next morning? Yeah. All right. Was Rico Jackson also that night? I think so, yeah. Did you later learn he gave a statement that night? Yes. Okay. And did... What did he tell the police? He gave a two-hour statement and only asked for a bottle of water and told them, he saw Man Man kill Steve Kennedy. And you know, I was saying that was impossible because we heard the shots before we even left out of the room. So you know, I was shocked, you know, that he gave a statement. I never realized he gave a statement until 2013. Okay, he didn't tell you right after, hey, I just told on Man Man? No, he never told me nothing. You know, when I asked him, man, damn, how you get out of jail? He said, Man, they caught me shooting on the camera, but I used Deshaun name. I hope fingerprints don't come back. So, you know, I used D's name and they let me go.